Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. <clears throat> the sun, it seems, is just rising to join us. Out beyond the windmills. Giants, depending on how you look at it. Hello, Volcano Manor. Mmm, misty. We are back at the, uh, wrong button. Back at the saucy nomadic merchant of the forest-spanning Great Bridge. However, he's just down there, but if I go down there, it gets very foggy and you can't see the windmills. So, I came up to this small boulder to please you, just as the morning sun rose. I hope you're satisfied. See if you come down here, it gets all... Oh! Oh, goodbye, windmills! Barely see anything at all. Thanks, nomadic merchant. It's probably not his fault. Did you have anything left to purchase? Terribly sorry. I may or may not have ground out a couple of bosses in cooperative mode, and I'm currently holding seven hundred and forty thousand. I don't feel good about. I'm not proud. I don't. It's like just walking around with a wad of hundos sticking out your back pocket in the nasty part of town. Ooh. I'm just asking for trouble. You are satisfied. <laughs> I'm so glad. Hello, hello, welcome. So nice to see you there on a weekend. Or a ahem, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I pretend I didn't mention it. On not a weekend at all. From a certain point of view. So, as I said, again, wrong button. We're back up here in the Altus Plateau. We have plenty more to explore. Last session we did a bit of a... cave diving? Let's call it tunnel exploration, and got ourselves a couple of new... smithing-based bell bearings. Somber and smithing-based. We were maybe going to check out this cave over here, if we can find a way down into it. Otherwise, in terms of unfinished business, we still have this Golden Lineage Everjail, which contains... Godfrey? Godfrey. I don't know quite how to pronounce it. We can also continue on uh, into the capital proper. Proper. My lips. They'll wake up. And we have some more exploration to do inside the wall here as well. There seems to be a shack. Maybe an artist sh shack? I don't think we've found one up in Altus yet. And then it seems to lead over to here as like the only possible entranceway. I'm still confused about this, because this is the big main road into the city. Oh, everyone's parading up and down this route, but it doesn't lead anywhere. Unless these are like hollow and go around? I don't know if they're hollow and go around. We gotta check it out. Other bits of unfinished business. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Actually, the most important unfinished business of all. Let's level up a bit of that uh, pocket change. 740? Well, where's the nearest cliff? <laughs> I'll find it. Don't you worry. I still haven't beaten that lineage one yet. Got sidetracked trying to get Vare and Moog's men to invade me. So that you can get the War Surgeon armor set. War Surgeon. I don't think I've seen that yet. That sounds amazing. And sharp. Very sharp and amazing. So, do we have enough to kick all of these up to 30? We do. Hooray. I'm gonna let intelligence... Hmm. What's the word for it? Increase. For once. God help us. We've increased our intelligence. I don't know where we go from here. My runes held are now significantly little less than when I started. That'll do. All right. I hate those, like, <laughs> there's that coughing. Choking. I don't know how to describe it sound. The snake men seem to be making down there. Not you, gentlemen. Sorry. I'm just pointed at you for reference. Somewhere down in the mist, there are snake men coughing. Oh, is that what, like, Vare is wearing? A war surgeon set with that weird sort of bloodied apron? That is very cool. I can't wait to get that. 
Okay, so, with really nothing to lose, 23,000 to lose, we can now do anything we feel like. Uh, unfinished business, I know there's this one thing that I can show you very quickly. I was looking around over here because I was fighting birds for two reasons. Let me explain. First, vengeance, and secondly, they have a weapon, as we, we all see, bound rather cruelly to their talons. They have a weapon that they drop after, oh, much, much grinding, that I was messing around with here. Let me show you. Mm, I've forgotten where it is. I'll never show you now. Up. Let's try up. There. Warhawk's Talon, it's called. So I brought them up to our first upgrade level, plus six. The one and two stones, or whatever those are. And they make a, they make a nice little combo. They're very interesting. I think it's cruel to kill birds with their own weapons, so we'll stick with this for now, but... Let's just let him toss a barrel at us. That's fun. That's fun for the kids. There is nothing a kid likes better than barrels. No! I don't want it! Thank you. So there are the Warhawks talents. Exhibit A and B, C, D, and otherwise. How many legs? So, past the birds, I was uh, peeking off this ledge, now that I'm a little little stronger and have to run away slightly less. There is a thing down there, and I, I can think of no other way to get down to it besides just tallying ho, but I have not yet tallied ho, because I didn't want to ho without you guys. You know I only ho for you, so there doesn't really seem to be a better way to get down there. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Ah! Oh... Thank you, calf muscles. I appreciate that. So that's where you come out to get up to the... main progress path. We've been there for sure. Nice to finally be around on this side. And hello, welcome, welcome. So glad you can finally join us now that you've beaten the game. Now that you know all the secrets, and yet you will not tell them to me, you bastard. <laughs> that's not a very nice welcome. I'm sorry. It's so nice to see you guys there. As I verbally berate you in a manner most inappropriate. A marred wooden shield. Very nice. I think we've seen a... What are they called? Crimson Scarf Knight. I, I would like to call them. We've seen those shields before. Nice to have one in the collection. Alright, so it just keeps going down. I was kind of expecting to... Oof. Just oof, right through the wall, back into the main area. Kind of just keeps, um... Uh, keeps going down. Ooh. That... <laughs> There's something odd-looking about that platform. It doesn't quite appear to be ground to me. Something about the resolution seems off. That looks no better. Quite slippery with moss. Mmm. All right. Tell me what's wrong with your resolution, then. Oh, that's it. Oh, I was fully braced for the worst. I was bracing. Storm assault. That's what my legs just went through on the way down, yes. Careful. Careful tongue. Let the words come out first. So wh wh what does this get me... I suppose we go this way. You think that your cat killed a squirrel. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Squirrel. And or... Mr. and Mrs. Squirrel. And or, you know... Non-gendered squirrel parents, as it's rather inappropriate to do so. As is appropriate. Somebody, uh... Lost a loved one. Oh, I wasn't expecting a crucible knight down here. Glad he wasn't quite as healthy as some of the others we fought. Crucible horns. Hmm. Well, when the mood strikes me, we'll check that out. 
in the mood for horns. Oh, I'm very glad they did not bring it in into the apartment. That's an important part of the, uh, the killing process, is the not bringing the corpse into the apartment. <laughs> you learn very quickly. When you begin to engage in killing, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily... Mm. Just hearing from my lawyer here. One second. What's the suggestion? Can it? Okay. Okay. So we seem to be rumbling into the base of Stormvale Castle. Ah, is this finally how we activate that? There's like a banished knight with a big halberd axe guarding an elevator, and we could never quite activate it to go down. This must be why. I'm glad that gesture was mostly out of frame, because it turned out to be rather inappropriate. What gesture, you might be asking? Well, that's why I kept it out of frame. It was accidentally inappropriate, though. I'd like to clarify. All right, banished knight. Whatever your name is. Ingval, one must presume. There are probably others. There you was. My lips betrayed me, but there he was. Aha! Have it thee. Have it thee, foul banished knight. Oh man, I love having upgraded weapons. Coming back to early game areas after you upgrade your weapons. Oh, I'm touched. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well as well. Excited to get into this game as well. I cannot wait. I hope you will stream it at some point if you do. So now I'm curious about all the ledges down. This is like the other side we were just staring at. We were over there a moment ago. Hooray, hurrah. We're back over here. What about this way? I mean, while we're daring our dues. What's daring down here? Do tell me. Uh huh. One small item from my troubles. I appreciate that. Arteria leaf, I do not appreciate it anymore. <laughs> That's like the meme item of this game so far. Every single one is going to be Arteria leaf. Especially if it's in a hard to reach position. It's like I don't really know what that's useful for yet. Looking forward to it. In the vein of early game struggles that now might be. Oh, just a touch easier. Though now that I've phrased it this way, I will die. Let's try this guy again. Eh. That's a nice reach you've got. I don't have a shield. I don't have a shield to combat you with. Take it easy on me, father. You could roll. You, you could try rolling. That'd be neat. You need to try. I see he has glowing eyes. Nice. Times five the souls, then. The runes. Uh, I got the item up there. Arteria leaf. Poo. I spit at you. And let's get out of here. Other early game areas. There was one other thing. Oh, yeah. the We've tried and tried and tried this guy. Let's head back. Maybe now, with our latest round of smithing stones, we'll have a chance at his health pool. I'm sure other people have, you know, come through this area in their underwear at level 5, let's say, and beat him quite handily, but here we are. Level 100 and something. Just running back with our tail between our legs. Uh, past time tonight. Yeah. That's how you meet night. Might show off a few episodes, but you've requested some assistance from a friend. Never played a Souls game before. Absolutely. No shame in some jolly cooperation. Alright. I kind of want a shield for this one. I mean, we could just hold this gently. Sure. It seems like it takes... Oh, 20 seconds or so to be the right amount of night time for this. I still haven't quite caught on to the spawning rules. Maybe I just need to go a distance away. 
In order to achieve what your heart desires most, you first need to lose everything. Oh God, do you need to lose everything? I don't just mean, you know, little luxuries, your morning strawberry jam, no. No, I'm talking about everything. The ability for your kneecaps not to be shaken around wildly. Oh, that goes first. That goes right quick. I'm just trying to stall. It's... Any time now, really. Really, Hunter. If that is your name. Hunter or Bradwick or whatever. Come. Face me. Show yourself. Oh, Arteria Leaf is useful to treat yourself to all the best cured meats and perfumes. I will have to check that. As I do love a good perfume. <sighs> I don't know why it works. Sometimes, and not others. Maybe I just need to, like, pass it to the right time and then reset the world? Is that... Yeah, I think that's it. All right, he's here. I finally caught on to how to spawn him. And we're dead. Good. Good, good. All right, Sith Lord. That's very sweet of you. Oh, such a move set. No, oh, give me a moment. For pity's sake. For the hobbits. We're taking them to Isengard, you know. That's our plan. Really? Really? <laughs> My one chance. Absolutely squandered. Do it? Yep, that's the one I was pressing thrice. There really is no out of range for that. Goodness me. Goodness me. I don't want it on the return trip. That's my biggest fear. Being hit from behind like a fool. I'll take all the hits from the front I can get. Wait. That sounded awkward. I don't know what the right place to stand is for that. Mmm, got greedy. I don't like the looks of whatever that is. No! You! Humiliated in front of the woodland creatures. Ah, through the trees, really? You son of a birch. I'm out of range, I promise. Please let me be out of range and understand my soul in this moment. I'm begging of you. A little common human compassion. Oh, Hunter T. Nothing to do with this, really. It just seems appropriate somehow. All right, I'm gonna try my little, ooh, my little bubble thing. Really, not even a little tickle on that one. Mm. Right in the prime of life. Almost got him. It's been a frantic flailing cornucopia of bad decisions so far, but we almost have it. That was another one. That was another in the cornucopia. Another in a long line. That one goes long, then it returns to him, and that's when I strike. Nope. Exactly not then. No, not another one. I can't handle another one. Good, now I can. All right, come on. <laughs> Just wait for your opening. Wait for it. Not then. That wasn't it. Don't jump back into the beam. Got him. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but I got him. That should finally give us a Bone Peddler's Bell Bearing. Hooray. All of those guys who have been completely incapable of defeating, until now, once, 
humiliatingly, uh, should hold one of those, which I can take back to the round table hold. Hooray, hurrah. Okay. Any other unfinished business? Anyone need to die? Any takers? No? This is a rare one in a lifetime opportunity? Once, even. <laughs> I'm sure there's stuff I've missed all over the Weeping Peninsula. We did do a pretty nice search of it, but there's stuff like this here, which I don't think I've been into. We may have to go back down there at some point. Let's run back to the round table hold, drop off our bell bearing, see if there's anything else we can grab. I think we still have a, just a touch of money. Just a touch. I don't think we have any new great runes or remembrances necessarily that we would need to check with Enya. Offer. Here you are. It's made out of bones. Whose bones? Well, I didn't really ask. So that gives us thin beast bones and hefty beast bones, which is great, because maybe you might need those for making arrows or otherwise uh, consumable items. Darts, perhaps. And the only other way to get them would be to kill the deli delightful, not delicious, delightful woodland creatures. And I don't enjoy doing that so much. So now we can save the bunny rabbits, buy them here. Should I use any of my money for sweet, glorious, somber smithing stones? No. No, I'm good. Thank you. Dung Eater, nice to see you. Is it? Is it ever? I don't think we've spoken to Gideon in a while. Let me just check if we've progressed his dialogue. No. Same dialogue. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Gideon. I'm off, Nier. Alright. I suppose we could check if I can upgrade my Mimic anymore. Oh, those poor delicious creatures. <laughs> I can talk to her, sh certainly. What's on your mind? You have been kicking ass, we call it. Under the golden order, I can understand. Oh, is that why? What they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself, actually. That I'm no mere apprentice any longer. I mean, yeah, he missed a syllable, but that's very sweet and true. Moderica, the certified spirit tuner. Where's the certification? If you're certified, I'd like to see the paperwork. Uh, no, I trust you. I thought this was just about the the dung eater. Let's go around again, just in case. The wing, past the yeah, me too. Table, That's the dung. The howling and wailing of spirits in fear of the curse. I can even hear the repulsive, twisted malice in itself. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm up to Ghost Glove Wart 7, of which I have zero, in order to upgrade my Mimic tier. That's fair enough. We did get this one from somebody. It might have been Padilla who dropped it. It was somebody involved in puppeteering, which I'm not super uh, involved in, slash a fan of the puppeteering. I hope that regular spirit ashes are more of a allowing someone's soul to continue to journey through the world and fulfill their purpose, whereas keeping a puppet in a jar just sounds sad. All right, Fia is gone, D is gone, Roger is gone, Corin is gone. We have a, a bit of an empty round table hold lately. Let's just check in with Enya. Nothing new. Good, good. Just making sure. All right, we can fast travel out of here then. And we can continue to explore in Altus. We can certainly even uh, go straight to this tunnel and see if it maybe contains another smithing stone bell bearing. I'm not sure that it would. 
There was something up here... No, it was just the dragon who flew away. That's why I'm thinking he was an outstanding boss. We did beat him, but he'll probably show up again in a later location. As we did not beat him, I lied. Let me see if I can go to Wyndham and make my way around this side. That does look really steep, though. Like, I'd have to come all the way back down to maybe here regardless. So let's just go here. I'm trying to get into this canyon, and then we'll go north to the tunnel. It is so nice to see you guys here this morning. Sorry I'm a little late in streaming today, but not as late as some days. Goodness. It is an absolute privilege to be adventuring with you all. All right, east down into the canyon. I guess this takes us close to this camp. We might as well explore it while we have the chance. Probably a couple of arteria leaves. Just waiting for us. It's also super fun to be, you know, mid-game to the point where you can maybe defeat some guys on a regular basis. Uh, I'm looking forward to that part of the game. Thank you for that cap. All right, we have an item in the middle, just like Malcolm. Where is the bad news? Oh, I see the bad news. It's ballistas. <laughs> it's ballistas on the hill. Oh, yikes. Oh, that is so kind of you to say. And to up arrow. That is very sweet. Thank you, guys. This is always the highlight of my day slash week slash life. Whenever I get to break free from all the mundanity and hang out with you guys. Alright, we're trying to go around the ballistas. Not very successfully. Mm. Have at you and your gullet. What remains of your gullet? It's me. It's Papa. He cares not for Papa. Not after this. Drop your shield! I beg of thee! Drop it! There you go. <laughs> Leather draped tabard. I will use that for sexy time later. Thank you. Put that in the category leather draped up in my mind. Ah, oh, you know the one. You know exactly the category. Two more ballistas. What were you doing? Were you stretching? Does your torch have a bowstring? What was that animation? I'm confused and scared. Okay, any other items? Yeah, probably, in those tents. Yeah, probably. We'll check up here first. Before we get ambushed by mighty trolls. Oh, there he is! I wasn't even... I, I didn't even think... Sorry I said that. Mighty, though. Mm. It's me! No, stop self-harming. I will not tolerate that. I am here to harm you your behalf. Wrong way. Wrong direction to come from. That looked so harming. Okay. Didn't make anyone dizzy. Thank you. Big fan. Nothing. The Tent of Disappointment. I will remember thee and thy sins for all time, you fickle tent. I'm going to be the biggest in all the camp, but contain no items. Get out of here. I'm 
never been this disrespected. Not since the last time I went to Chili's. <laughs> slanderous. I'm so sorry, Chili's. You had nothing to do with it. There is an item. All right. A troll's golden sword. Hefty. Let's check it out. I hope it's not a euphemism. No, it's, a, it's actually a sword. I'm so glad. Sword given to the lesser giants who fought for the Erd Tree during the war against the giants long ago. Although they have lost their minds, they stay inseparable from their swords that are in sad shape. Do pardon me, I choked up. About the shape of the... Such that the gold plating had flaked away. Oh, God! The gold plating! I'm fine. It's... It's fine. How about this one? Not that side of it, for sure. Only ropes on that side of it. I'll use those for sexy time later. It, mm, can't keep making the same joke. Come on. Great shield talisman. Does that increase the effect of blocking? Perchance. Boosts guarding ability. Hooray. The Knights of Laindell once modeled themselves after the Tree Sentinels. Their purpose is to protect that which deserves protection. That's me. And thus the shield always comes before the sword. I like that. I like that motto. Now excuse me while I go ahead and put my sword before the shield. All right. Fair enough. Miniature tent of also disappointment. Doesn't seem to be too much else hiding out here. However, we are in the canyon. The canyon of ill repute. Shield before the sword. I'm going to use that for sexy time. Like, no, we we can't just keep making. We. <laughs> All right. So I'm headed up towards this tunnel. Let's go ahead and give ourselves the wrong button for the third time. A little help. This looks like a good spot to get ambushed and fried, like a mm, channel of pancake batter by one or more dragons. Could also be a big old crab hiding around here. There usually is. Oh, there's usually a big old crab. Stay still and let me swipe at you. Let me swipe and kill you. Thank you so much, Blood Blade. Ooh. And Blood Roses. That makes me feel like I'm about to be attacked by a sanguine... I forget the rest. Something sanguine. You okay? Do you need assistance? Just make a little noise. Grunt. Once for yes. No, he's fine. Okay. Sorry to bother you. What's that? What or who in the absolute hell? Who in the what? In the what? Who in the in the what? All right, this doesn't bode well for me in my continued life here. Mm, catch up to him. I thought we were gonna make a beautiful and peaceful summer cottage amongst the volcanic hexagonal rocks, but no, no, this is a place of danger and trolls. All right. All right. I was going to go around. Just pretend you don't have eyes and go around. Do 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 do. It looks like a stone sword key entrance. I hope we still have a couple left, though I haven't checked in a while. We'll check now. Good morning. Good morning. So nice to see all of you there. Oh no, someone's being murderous and judgy. Is it a cat? Yep, it's a cat. I scrolled up. <laughs> I'm not sure how I guessed that, really. Someone's being murderous and judgy? It's a cat, right? Oh, 
All right. Maybe there's a side of grace in here. I sure would appreciate it. Old Altus Tunnel. Pardon me, Doctor. <laughs> I've got three explosive stone clumps. And I just... I, I don't know what to do. Oh, well. Let's take a look. Let me go get my lab coat on so it looks all professional and whatnot, just in case someone's hiding in the bushes, taking photos of me examining you. You'd think, but it happens all the time. Um, let's go ahead and activate this. Quick check around for potential illusory walls. I'm not seeing any good takers but I haven't struck them across the face yet, to know for sure. We might also need uh, the old pickaxes. Ooh, the old axes, because it's probably going to be a stone skin situation. What do we have here? Sure. Sure, why not? All right. 11 versus 12. I should probably have that one in my main hand, but maybe I'll switch them thusly. Hooray! Okay. Let's do this thing. There are explosive barrels. What does that imply someone is going to throw at me? I guess they do have, like, those flame lanterns. That must be the main concern. Keep an eye up above for firebombs, just in case. Alright. Doggy, hey! I love you. We've got materials left and right. Collecting materials all through the night. Once I collect enough, you'd think that I'd craft something out of them. But no, they're just for show. It's the illusion of wealth that makes me feel important. Not filling my pockets with all kinds of different potions. This has gone off the rails. Alright, we have a regular knight in there. I'll have to take him out from his sleepy, sleepy slumber. I don't really want to go down either way here yet, but out of all the options, this really is the best for my cowardice. Ah, he got a hit in. Nice job. Fight the power. Fight me! I've taken to calling myself the power, like from a third person perspective. It's... it's a choice. It's not a good... It's just a... Alright, any way down. Probably jump onto that platform, or that platform. I do see an item in there. I shouldn't miss. Let's jump down here to remind myself. Mm. It's so barely down here. Please don't explode me. Alright, night is up. The moon is high. Oh, there's two of you. Hi, guys. There's, there's some. There are some of you. I really wish that first one had hit. But still, thank you for working out in my favor in the end. Get in there. Get in there between him. Mm -hmm. Now get out. There you go. Now get back in there between them. Now get out, and then back in. <laughs> okay. You've earned it. Oh, man. Dogs, too. Not my favorite. It's fine. It's fine. I got the potion. 
Mm, I need another potion. Bad. Bad Charles Schwab. That's what I've named him. Lindell Soldier Gauntlets. Add them to my collection. Redeemed a request. Spin around. Like, thusly. Mm, mm, mm. Now keep the rhythm. Keep the rhythm. Keep the rhyme. Come on down. It's bobsled time. I don't think... I don't think those are the lyrics. <laughs> Does this satisfy you? I'm so glad. I love games that allow you to do that with the running motion. There's stuff like GTA or whatever where they make it all realistic animations. A real person couldn't turn on their heels again and again like some sort of magnificent ice dancer. And I'm like, what about me makes you think I want to be a real person? That's... Instead of an ice dancer, why would you assume that of me? All right, I don't quite know where I am now. We've, we've jumped all over this cave. So I'm not sure which way is forward. We'll just keep going forward. Somebody's gonna start throwing firebombs at me, and I'm not... I'm not ready for that. Emotionally or otherwise. There it is! It's happening! It's happening now! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good for you! Can I get one of those? Those seem great. Seem like a very effective weapon. You interrupted me. Don't do it again. Don't. <laughs> okay. Somber Smithing Stone 5. Really, the smithing stones you find are the best indication, in my mind, of, like, where you're at, difficulty-wise. A smithing stone level 5, that's just about right. That's about my level. Alright, didn't seem to be any other way there, though I could be missing a wall. Let's take this guy out before he gets flamey. Oh, Hotman. All right. We can take the ladder back up. I think we looked behind there. I think we went all the way down here. Let me double check. We did not. This is the boss fog. Good. <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't have a great amount of potions. I have four potions. I might be able to summon my Mimic with this much health, but that even might be too much. Let's just give it a try. We know how to get back down here eventually. Good. And it's a Stone Digger Troll. Hey, been a while. Nice to see you again. Pickaxes, probably a good choice here, I guess. Instant stagger. Should have ran around to the front, but eh. Gotcha. A great club. It's the best. Let's clarify. The best club. In a way, it'd be kind of nice. I mean, I know it'd break the immersion a little bit, but it would be nice if you, like, beat the boss, and they're like, this is the best sword in the game. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Now I know which one to upgrade. So I might have missed uh, some things in there. Let's take a quick, quick peek. Maybe I didn't. But we can at least climb up the ladder and see if there was another side path mid-level here. Before we run away with our pickaxes of flailing. My axe is a flailing. I am drenched in blood. I'm not sure how much of it is mine. 
It doesn't smell like troll blood, no. No, not at all. Yes, this was the side path, or potential side path. It's, it's a bit of a jump, yeah? I mean, I know, I know what you're thinking. Isn't that a bit of a jump? And you're right. You're right. <laughs> Especially when you do not. It's a bit of a jump when you do not. There isn't something back there that I can't get to otherwise, is there? It looks like I could have gotten back here, so I'm assuming we looked back there. Not gonna worry about it. Alright, so I hope I can make it across here. I'm sure it's easy enough if you actually leap. Still a little close, uh, but thank you for leaping that time. That's right, we have this guy to deal with. Let's deal with it. Mm. Really nice that I'm getting up to the point where I can do like 900 damage to normal guys. Oh, dogs. Hey, dogs. Nope, neither of you. Neither of you wanted that smoke. Pickaxe is not very good for dogs. <laughs> Wish I could have my other sword out for this. There. It's me! Interrupted his work there for some soothing boluses. And a Bolt Drake Talisman plus one. Hmm. Hello, hello. So nice to see you there. I am listening to the final season of The White Vault, and they mention a specific Swedish cookie like five times, and you're absolutely here for it. I'm so glad. <laughs> I love their references in The White Vault. All right. Anything of import? Hidden. Let's check around back. Sir. Madam. There it is. That's how they get you. That's how they keep you from getting your somber smithing stone six. All right, that looks pretty well cleaned out, so I think we could either run right back out to the entrance here, or we could jump back down through the boss fog. Let's just see if we can get out here. Though I guess we'll have to ride the elevator again. There's no shame in it. White Vault is my jam. It has my favorite Peter performance as commanding action, Peter. That sounds like... Never mind. <laughs> but I like it. Commanding action, Peter. I consider that my... Uh, completely exhausted... And yet... Probably knows the right answer for everything. Through my sheer exhaustion and wealth of experience. No! Ooh! So close. So, so far away. All right, I thought the lip would extend a little further. Foolish of me to assume, but at least we lost them on the right end of the spawn. You paused the White Vault a while back, but now that you haven't had anything to do, you've been listening to it while working on your Christmas quilt. Ooh, that sounds so cozy. Literally spawned on top of my runes. Thank you. Okay, so it put me at the bottom of the elevator. Fair enough. That is where the Sight of Grace is. I'm, I'm now seeing that with my own two, ni two eyes. Sure. So 
does seem to be uh, one more passage about halfway up there. Let's try to go back a little further this time, past the crates and such. There you go. You say so? One must wonder why you even exist in the first place, if that's the case, but if you say so. Same story. Alright, so, not really passages, just a bit of extra cracked crystal. I'll still take it. And can I get out from here? Yes. Perfect. So, I don't think we got a bell bearing as part of that, but that's just fine. While we remain in the canyon, we could continue north to this swampy area, see if we can grab a sight of grace. I will, however, need to be back at the top. There we go. <laughs> Last time, I'll make you ride this elevator, I promise. For now... I am really, really enjoying our time in the Altis Plateau. It's such a lovely area, and it feels like home to me, in a certain way. It feels like my idea of home, or my ideal. Let us head northward, leaving the trolls to their foul business unmolested. Worry not, thy troll parts are secure. That's a nice little rickety bridge up there. Oh, I want to get chased down it by machete-wielding psychos. And then, you know what. Cut the bridge. Watch the psychos plummet, proving once and for all that I am the psycho. It's fine. I'm back in control now. I've I've restrained him. Don't worry. Mm. I know the fact that I'm explaining this all so calmly in the exact same voice makes one wonder if it's all just an act, but no, he is restrained. Don't worry. I don't want to fight a bunch of those to get an item, but I do want the item. Oh, I do want the item. <laughs> <laughs> they all got a hit in there. Alright, so I assume this would poison me if I was on foot. Thank you, Torrent, for hoofing it for me. Hoofing it on my behalf. I should probably switch back to swords before we run into something non-stone skinny. I'm not fat shaming. It's, it's, it's about st the thickness. Stone skinny and... All right, this was main hand, yes, and off hand. Just on the off chance. All right, so it looks like we can get over the wall there. That is one point of entrance. I could just keep skirting around the exterior for items before we hit the main. Oh, the big finale. I don't see any sights of grace so far. It isn't a cave, is it? No, it is not. Love the Altus area. Stuff starts getting creepy, but it looks so pretty. Yeah, it seems to be a good combination of the vanilla fantasy-ness of Limgrave and the Oh my god, what's happening of Kaled. Ooh, you also did the Patagonia and... Artifact side episodes, that's fantastic. Or Patagonia, season and artifact side episodes. There are some plants out there. Probably being a little over thorough, but here we are. Ew. This looks like a pla- oh, yep, this looks like a bad place. Didn't mean to disturb your slumber there. I'll I'll be going. No, no need to get up. You 
You rest. That's a good boy. I do see a starlight shard bowl. Worth the trip around. Though I still don't entirely know what those are for. Was it like Celevis's puppets that I could buy with those? Somebody finally took starlight shards. But then I think they, they died just after that. Maybe their merchant interaction prompt remains. Alright, so this is called the Shaded Castle. Good to know. And a cool name for it. I wonder what's behind Giant Guy. Otherwise, we probably have to go back and leap over the wall, slash waltz into the main entrance. Really glad this guy doesn't have a bow and arrow, at least. One. One arrow. Does have some sort of perfumer or mage, perhaps. I'll give them a wide berth. What are these statues depicting? Ooh, all manner of strength and beauty. Kind gestures and swooning. Every every which way, the swooning. Long way down. All right, thank you. So not really a cave or a catacomb back here that I can see, but very curious as to what uh, these folks might drop. I would love to take them on one at a time. Instead of uh, the old 2v. The 2v me. What's that say? Male? Murray? Mally Murray? Shaded Castle Castellan. I'm gonna poke you. I'm gonna poke you, Mally. And I'm a little sorry, I guess. I am a little sorry. Got one of them quick swords. I want that sword. Mm, so quick. I want it. Why are you poisoned? How would you be poisoned now? It's hardly the time for your giant boyfriend or your poison techniques. Let's have an honest fight here. Ant Spur Rapier and Marai Mask. Marai Robe? Mm, no hit. Let's stop auto aiming. See, no, I'm, I'm back here. You, you missed me. Savage it! Savage that ankle bone! Do it now. Savage it until he falls. Ah, not you. I suppose I should take... Oh! <laughs> should take the opportunity to heal. Though it wasn't much of an opportunity, it turns out. He's not about to half. We're making progress, but have not been able to stagger him. Fancy. Learning some of those dragon techniques. I don't like it. There. Staggered his sweet little face. Hold still. No, let me. Uh, let me. Let me do the. Oh, okay, fine. There. It was a pretty healthy one. Maybe the most healthy of his kind we've taken down so far. So, what is this thing? Let's get a closer look at our new friend. Ant Spur Rapier, Impaling Thrust, causes Scarlet Rot buildup. Passively, 
I think that might be the first weapon I've seen that does. And that would be kind of like hemorrhaging, but more damage consistently over time. Hmm. I'm assuming it takes somber smithing stones. Spur of a giant ant, which has been fashioned into a rapier. The blade drips with scarlet rot. Beautifully so. Scarlet Rot is an old legend of which Malay Murray of the Shided Cat... <laughs> Shaded. Not sure why I'm emphasizing. Was a private believer. And indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess. A goddess of Scarlet Rot. Keep this in mind. I would very much like to... Very much like to use that. Maybe we could race back to either EG or the Round Table Hold here. Alright, we got the Starlight Shard back there. We went up here. I think we can go into the castle proper. So sorry, I missed the... Uh, Chad up here. Celevis sells puppets. He dies in the process of Ronnie's quest. But if you keep him alive for a while, he will eventually sell puppets for Starlight Shards. You can even get the Dung Eater as a summon. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Though maybe a little unhygienic to have in your pocket, I, I would absolutely take the help. <laughs> it is so nice to see you guys here. Thank you for hanging out with me. I know I say that every time. It continues to be true. Alright. No way into this shack, I presume. Nor a purpose, therefore. So was there a main entrance and the little hop over the wall, or is there only the little hop over the wall? Yeah, it looks like they sealed... The main entrance, perhaps. I guess to do full diligence, let's check this side as well. We'll run back to that hop over. Basilisks! <laughs> I don't know if we've seen them before in Elden Ring. They are my worst nemesis in past Dark Souls games. Definitely has not been a sight of grace outside the wall. Still hoping that there's one inside. Alright. I'll take your herba and Mikela's lily, thank you. So yes, this is the other side we ended up over there while we were grabbing our starlight shards. Hi! Kill you soon! Just check up in this corner and then we're done, I promise. No more fringe searching. For goodness sakes, leave my nipple tassels alone. It's my private fringe. That's a very square shadow that leaves me gaunt and curious. Tell me more. Okay. If you insist. <clears throat> Someone just seems to be sort of presenting themselves as, as a secret, and if you'd like to just be honest with yourself about who and what you are, we could... It's fine, I'm not, I'm not rushing you. All right, back past the basilisks. Basilisk, we go. And try to get over the wall. Hopefully to an immediate sight of grace. And a cool drink. Refreshing beverage of some variety. Hi. This is not my cool drink I ordered, but hi. Who's behind me? Ah! It's Worm Boy. And I got 
positively marinated in them. Jump down there, go up the ladder, sight of grace at the top. Hooray. Any other way to get up there? Yeah, much easier. Thank you. <laughs> Jump down into the muck and ruin your boots and then climb the ladder strenuously. Or you could go you could walk around the corner to the stairs. I appreciate the options. Alright, I am going to refresh my potions. It will also bring everyone back to life, but oh well. I don't think I have enough, not even close, to level up yet. I've almost pushed my individual level up cost into six digits by this point. We're getting there. Are you depraved? Have at thee. Have at thee, thou depraved minion of... I don't know who lives out here. The Shaded Castle Proprietor. Who does live out here? Who are we going to meet? Whose court chamber am I about to beg an audience inside of? The chamber, I mean. The, the court... The court cha If I wasn't clear, I meant... I knew that was gonna happen. I just knew it. Sick little feeling in the pit of my stomach. About the whole endeavor. Back up. Ah, every time. Every time I think it's safe, it's actually perfume season. Very devastatingly effective perfume season. That catches me when I'm jumping, when I'm rolling. Oh, any... Any physical animation I'm performing. Yeah, that cancels it right good. Mm. Alright. Get, get, get rid of it. Use use all of the perfume in your perfume pouch and let me be. Mm, so devastating. Okay. Okay. Oh, and he's healing too. Great. Could you, like, reload your perfume mag? I need just a second. I need just a second. If you wouldn't mind reloading your perfume mag. Here with your potions. Sickly amount of potions. Good, good. Yes, shh. Shh. Daddy loves you. Shh. All right. The thing about fire is not to let it burn you. Just a little, a little secret hint. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'll try to remember for next time. Ouch! Ow! Ow! Don't let it burn me. Alright, we got golden runes. This doesn't seem to lead anywhere, necessarily. Let's keep heading to the inner ring. The Elden Ring? No, the inner ring. Is there a gentleman hiding on the staircase? Or is it just full of basilisks down below? You can tell me. I won't freak out. Alright, that's a whole lot of bad news. Just, ah, oh, terrible. Terrible news. Aha! Here is, I think, our first Altus... Artist Shack. Hooray. Champion Song Painting. So we're looking for somebody's grave. I think that's one of those hero's grave buildings. And it's got Volcano Manor behind it, so we're probably looking south to north. We can go check that out. Definitely one of those banners, and there's some sort of a structure, maybe, in the mountains behind it. Doesn't really look like a Rock spire, it looks flat. I'll have to see what that is. Alright, so I don't think I need to be down here. This isn't going to get me any closer to the middle of the city, but very glad we picked up the art. So wormy. Ew, ew. 
Let me out. Alright, headed this way. I do have 70,000. If I kill another 20k or so worth, we'll be in level up territory again. Okay, I'll unpoison myself. There. Oh, my clothes are still reeking of it somehow. It's finally starting to go down. I thought that reset your clothes as well, but I'm not sure. So now we have the actual guys to fight, instead of just the worms to avoid. Would you like to come to dry land? How do you feel about that? I'd sure like you to come to dry land if it's not too much trouble. Fine. Don't do it! Alright, big blob out there. Another guy there. There is an item on the cliff. Interesting, I guess we'd have to jump out that wall. And that ladder doesn't seem to come all the way down. Probably just an escape. Not sure how I missed. Thank you for dying. Let's go check this out real quick. Don't roll in it. Do not roll in it. Also, don't stand in it confused and gawking like a... a young student visiting the big city for the first time. I can't think of a better metaphor. I'm so shy and timid. I'll just sit here in the poison. Will you grow out of it in your later years? No. No, still very people-averse. Even in the later years. Makes everything difficult. Thank you for asking. Just in case. Alright, that would get us up onto the outer wall. Not sure what's lying in wait for us out there. Mm. Goo, goo, goo. And that's it. This might get us up to the main keep area there. Let's save that for just a second. Do not have torrent inside the walls, so we'll have to do this quick. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Thank you. Thank you for my beast blood. What? I hurt my ankle? What happened? Alright, so I can get up there, I can get up here. There's a thing down there. Let's go grab it. Oh, good news. All good news. Don't roll in the poison, no! Not in the poison, no! Well, I'm poisoned now. I'm just gonna have to learn to live with it. Still racing around there, hungry for my blood. You're not going to get it for the last time. There's got to be some bad news about this. Oh, there's got to be. I suppose I could use that to cure myself of poison, but nay. I will not. The thrill of being actively poisoned is enough to satisfy me. Alright. Not 
very much out here. Good ambush opportunity, especially if I had some fire arrows. And... hmm. I wonder if that's another way up in here that I did not notice. I don't know why I would want to go down that way right now. Gross. Alright, is that a chest or is that just a chimney? I think it's just a chimney. Any reason for me to jump down there then? No. Oh, I can't think of one. <laughs> Could potentially be some way forward. Because I don't think I can get behind these rocks otherwise. So I'm curious. Let's finally restore that poison health. Not that one. Nope. How about that? Yeah. Now they're both in the same place. It all works out. Not you. Three's a crowd. Alright, now I'm, I'm about to be rotten. Ouch. Or poison bloomed, or whatever that is. I think it's scarlet rot from these guys. Just want your thing, and then I'll go. I'll go, I promise. Mm, never mind, I guess I'm stuck here forever. Good. Scarlet Rot. All right. It's going to hurt significantly faster than the poison did. That seems to be all that's really back there. Except for the things I'm missing. I believe in you. Get to the top of the wall. Let's go ahead and risk it. Risk it for nothing. Alright, so if I'm anywhere close to our original site of grace, I would like to return and get unrotten slash unpoisoned. Nope. I also love not to be cursed. I can't even tell you how much I'd love that. Oh, so slow! So slow when it gets knee-deep. It's gotten knee-deep! <laughs> this is a horrible place to be. Okay. Woo! Stay on the lava rocks. Just like a kid at the mall. Floor is lava. Just like me at the mall. All right, we're free from that dreadful and terrible place. We got some items. We are still being chased. Let's go ahead up to the main keep area. Though again, if I can get back to that side of grace, oh. Let's, let's proceed. I just need to be able to heal by the time I get to the top of the ladder. If I get to the top of the ladder. Oh. Oh, thank you for the Discord link. Ta-da, indeed. Or more accurately, ta-da! Welcome. Alright, we got guys all over. Geysers of worms all over. We're almost finally unrotten. I don't want a hug. Thank you. I did not consent to this. Alright. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> it just keep coming. So many little alcoves and crevices. Pretty healthy. That doesn't bode well for me. Ah! Rotten again. <laughs> good, good. Okay. Yikes. And okay. So let me see, what are my options for getting back here? As now I'm going to be wildly low on potions. Not to mention morale. This was the keep I got back up to. Item up here. Lots of dudes. Uninterested dudes. And this guy. He is tall. Oh, there's a horseman in the inner courtyard. We're getting close. Getting close to the meat of the shaded castle. There's nothing there. I could drop down to the rooftops. It's a bit of a skip. Hmm. Okay. It's really my only option. On to my last potion. Go up that way. Cannot go down, despite my wants. Mm -hmm. No potions remain. This is about to get dicey. Oh, just like a bunch of tomatoes. It's about to get diced. Keep pressing the advantage! Keep pressing it! <laughs> I never had the advantage, see. That was that was my mistake. If I had ever possessed the advantage, I could have continued to press it, but mm. Oh no. <laughs> ah, there are plans of concert going. That sounds very awesome. And your first concert was Alan Jackson. Ooh. All right, so my souls. Tell me, tell me. They're on the inner ring, upper level, about there. Sure. How did I... Um, remind me again. How in the hell did I get up there? We'll figure it out. All right, I think I just went this way. Nice. Nice moves. Ow. Alright, so I'm looking for the ladder. Here we are. Go right on past all these good folks. Yes, yes. All right. Where was I? Where was I standing? Oh. Oh, that's deep. Yeah. Good. Oh, anyone else feel a weird sort of buns warmth at the end there? I don't know if that was just me, maybe just a side effect of the exercise of climbing. But I felt some buns warmth. 
I don't like you and your perfume. Ah, it's so devastating. All right, perfume bottle. I'm hiding. You'll never find me. He found me. Oh, they are gonna... Oh, they are gonna just... Oh, what what are they gonna... Ow. But thank you. Alright, let's try going up that way. There is a ladder into the main... What might be a boss fog. I still need to grab that item by the tree. E yikes. Alright. Let's do it. We don't leave a man behind. We don't leave an item at the tree. Quick check back here. In the death corner. In the death zone. That's what they call the kill box. Also this. They just call that guy specifically the kill box. Move! <laughs> Move before you get dewormed. In reverse. Alright. Heading up to this ladder then. And hoping for the best. I see we've been going for just about an hour and a half. I'll try to wrap it up here in the next half hour. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, though. This is always the best part of my day. And so is finding a side of grace. Touch it. Touch it. With your fingertips. Alright, so I still have plenty of flasks. Let's keep pressing on. So nice to have another backup. We can also head out back to the main courtyard if this doesn't get us anywhere super important. We have info. Oh, one of the rarest and most exciting things in a Souls game. Actual info. Hey. House Marai is ruined. Just desserts for falling for that severed harpy. No surprise that guilty cretin took the castle and our storied sword. A storied sword, you say? I'll take it for me. If that's not just sort of a continuance of the pain you were describing. Just me also robbing you. I'll take it. I love you guys. I'm really sorry about this. I'm sorry I took your blood. Mm. There he is. Alright. Lantern time. Gorgeous. Pleasure to be here. Books and statues and culture. Oh my. Please don't hit me from behind. I'm really vulnerable right now. I'm really vulnerable, and I'm just asking you as a personal friend. Mm. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close to my face. Okay. Who was shooting at me? Stop shooting at me. We have another ladder up. We have a door out. Go ahead and waste another. Dogs. Mm. Hefty bones. My goodness, sir. When you said you were going to start working out, I didn't expect it to affect your bones to this extent. He looks very well armed and armored. And I'm just gonna... I'm just going to quietly... Thank you. Thank you for your time. Alright, let's go this way. 
will have to wise up and head that way eventually, I'm sure. But until then, items and running away. The Perfumer's Cookbook. Alright, no good options here. We already got Starlight Shards from down there. I guess it's back to Heavily Armored Guy, then. That's fair enough. I descend! Oh, sorry, Torch. I didn't mean for that to happen. Alright. Stay facing that way. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Thank you. I'm just gonna quickly switch to this and give you the old one too. Okay. Very close to getting Scarlet Rot, but we made it. We made it out. You have so many points. What is one of Peter's favorite musical artists besides Bowie? Well, that's fair. I can't use Bowie. <laughs> uh, favorite musical artists? I'm always harping on about Sufjan Stevens. That's one of my favorites. Uh, Elliot Smith. You know, the sad sack set. In terms of, uh, peppier, peppier music, well, I haven't heard it. No, I don't know what that would be like. I like most everything in the normal human beings who have heard music ever sort of category. The Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack, we'll call it. Sometimes I love that jump and slash sideways thing. Oh, this wasn't one of those times. But just before it, sure. Alright. We're still making progress. I love these statues. This is such a cool visual area. Who knows when one of them is going to attack me, though. That's not very cool or visual. there was going to be bad news. Ah, I could feel it in the air. I could feel it in the water. They were all of them deceived. Please, please don't. That looks horrible. Please stop it. Stop doing that to me. I'm begging of you, please. Mm, I wish that had killed him. Switch. Switch. There. That's the dog. You got it. No! Don't stand. Don't stand there. So close to me. Back in. Mm-hmm. Nope, we'll just keep doing what works. It's all that matters. Ouch. All right, waste one. Dead by daylight, him. Oh, he's getting DBT'd. Sounds so inappropriate somehow. One more hit, come on, man. One more little hit. Those guys are cool. Like, I need more practice fighting them, clearly, but I like how hard they try to live. It's always one of the cooler types of enemies. Sort of like the Black Knights in... Original Dark Souls. Like, uh, I should probably come back for these guys later. It's such a cool feeling when you start to be able to take them out. We have an elevator. It may go up. I'm not sure if there's enough up for it to go that way. Everything sounds inappropriate when you say it. <laughs> that is fair. I'll accept that criticism. Ooh, it's a shortcut ladder. I finally see now. I was like... Does it go all the way to the ground? Like, if you kick it, yes. Yes, it will. Good. That might be an easier way to get back up here now. Presuming we'll have a boss fight. 
at the top of the elevator. Not that these clean rot nights weren't enough of a boss for me. Nothing. All right. We may as well see what's at the top. We only have three flasks of crimson tears. Okay, I'll be wise. I'll be wise for once in my sad little life. Let's see where that sight of grace is. If it's close-ish by, that would really help. And I thought it was... close-ish by. Thank you. I always forget that it brings you out of a menu when you're in danger. That is extremely kind. Alright, I think it's at the top of this ladder here. I'll just have to run back across the courtyard. Up the stairs, that way. Should be able to find a way to that ladder again. Until then, hooray! It's potion time. This is definitely the wiser option. Then going in with two potions after I perform my mimic ritual. Two potions? No. That's not going to cover it. I think it's back this way. Perfect. Aha! Alright, let's see what's waiting for us up or down the elevator. You've been getting uh, your son into the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack. He was watching Avengers last night and yells out, The Rubber Band Song! <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Mm. Yep. It's one of those times when you get reminded, like, Hey, remember how dogs are, like, the lowest enemy in the game that you have evolved well past the point where you die to them. Yeah, they can still kill you at any moment. Like, oh, thank you for reminding me, game. That's hurtful. When they time it right, there's really no getting out of that. Try to get our 85 back. In fact, it would be kind of nice to boost that up, grind that up to a spendable amount before we lose it. And I suppose we can always get back to this side of grace so I could even go, you know, to a grinding area if need be. We are very close. I forgot, of course, that the enemies would all be back here. I came running into this area. We cleared it! It's fine and dandy! Hello, you. Go ahead and get my shield out for this. Mm-hmm. Really should have done a guard counter there. But not there. Oh. Sometimes that seems a little wide. Like I was mid-roll when he pegged me with it. And that's fair. You did peg me with it. All right, let's just go up there. Elevator here. While we have souls, we'll return to deal with the clean rot. What's this? Some sort of wooden balcony filled with structurally unstable heavy stone statues that the wooden balcony surely can't support over time. Interesting area. What does it lead to? Hopefully a wet nap. All right. So a little bit of a shame that I'm actively uh, rotten. Maybe I should just waste one. I should probably just waste one. There. I've done it. I've used a retirement consumable. I hope you're happy. Elmer of the Briar. Hope you're ready for two folks with a grudge. 
Oh, why exactly? Oh, he's like one of the bell bearing hunters. That's interesting. A little bit more powerful. Take it back. That was close. Thank you, Mimic, for taking the brunt of this. I really appreciate it. Got him. Hmm, goes around behind him, too. I didn't expect that. So close. So close, please. I beg of you. Oh, thank you, Mimic. Oh, Mimic, I'm so grateful. Marai Executioner's Sword and the Briar Great Shield. That also gave me an achievement, strangely. Must be a beefy dude to have awarded me such. Okay, side of grace for it as well. And who is this? Who do you serve that has prosthetic legs and arms? Hmm. I wonder if that's the proprietor of the castle? Past owner? Maybe still? Still in residence? Alright, so we have a couple of places inside the shaded castle now. I'm sure we're missing a room or two of, of goodies. However, let me try to level up now. That's what we were on the path for. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for bearing with me there. Yes, we can afford just one. What should it be? Strength to 32. It's a pretty good option. Let's do it. All right, little to lose again. Fantastic. We've given this whole canyon a pretty solid run. Again, I'm sure there's a cave or a catacomb somewhere hidden in the brush that I have not seen. But that feels good. Uh, let me run up just to this... Let's check the main entrance, quote-unquote. See if I'm correct about it being a sort of sham, or if there is in fact a path forward. And I'm gonna mark this cabin, so let's go check that out as well. Jump down to this one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here. I've got about 15 minutes left, let's say. 15 to 17 minutes in the oven at 325, because you don't want it to get too crispy. Mm. But sometimes you do, you know? You just want it to get, like, too, like, too crispy. That sounds good. So we'll follow the road first. Where does this main path? It's like I'm assuming this channel down the center is effectively where all of these coffin carriages have come from. I imagine this channel is where they all either came from or are headed towards, like we're trying to get to the capital city. There is a yellow brick road of sorts. Oh, hi. Nice to see you there. I was being sarcastic. It's, it's a delight. No, I'm still being sarcastic. I... I hate the fact that you're here. There, I finally got the truth out. Alright, so that would be the main door, quote-unquote. Two golden seeds, alright. And a fingerprint. A uh, finger reader. <laughs> a fingerprint reader, sure. Not sure exactly what she's reading. You're... Do it. The fingers I served. Once prophesied, a tarnished Sorry will about one that. day become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. One second, Susan. Surely you see it too. I see it better than you do, sure. As it that was harsh, I'm sorry. The great tree which begets. Yeah, oh no, I see it. Oh, tarnished. Hasten to the foot of the tree. <sighs> I don't have to, like, wash the foot of the tree when I get there or anything, do I? That's... Fingers 
will surely guide you. So sorry, I didn't want to interrupt our finger reader there. Uh, are you allowed to talk about another streamer in my channel? Absolutely, yeah. I have no, uh, no jealousy towards that. <laughs> Please do. All right, so we're checking the main door. There might be a boss or something guarding it. If it's a real door, I would expect such. However, I also have seedy doubts in the back of my mind. No boss, just frightened gentlemen. Hmm. Gentlemen, why so frightened? What do you got here? Lost Ashes of War. There's no way to open it. So all these guys have been journeying to the capital, let's call it. For who knows how many generations of undead life. Please, I'm begging of you. <laughs> Without a shield, it's a little hard to get past the torch sometimes. And they all, they've all reached the door and can progress no further. Here's where they die. Unnecessarily, at my hand. You're not even armed, I'm sorry. That, that was r rough. So yeah, it's like... This is a lie? <laughs> Why would they have people come to the capital just to end up out here in this sort of battleground? Let's go take a look at the battleground. Ooh, I see a shiny thing up there. I think when it has like that white aura, I think that effectively means you need to sneak up on it. Let's see if we can go around the other way here. Try to keep its dung ball between it and us. If I can use such harsh terms. Oh, there's no going around. Alright, we'll start up there then. So it's at that, like, middle level, not the lowest. Stay, stay. Now I go around. And... Eh. And crouch. There. Just keep that ball between us. Nice. Golden berry. Interesting that there's an entire second kind of berry as an Ash of War. That's usually like a default ability. I guess pe regular berry is itself an Ash of War in this. I just wasn't expecting there to be more varieties of it. I'm curious about what that would do. It's probably faith-based, which I still don't have a tremendous amount of. All right, so that is the main door here. We've now investigated it somewhat. It is as confusing as it appears. Let's try to get up to this shack here. What are these big things? <laughs> are they like arrows that were fired from up there into this battleground? We see some sort of leftover remnants of trebuchets or catapults that kind of seem to be destroyed by said arrows, in a sense. So they must have rolled siege weapons through the outer ring and were attacking here and then were destroyed by large arrows? I'm not sure if I'm reading the situation correctly. I don't see any soldiers stuck here fighting eternal war, but there definitely were some at one point. There's a gentleman. Hello, gentlemen. Who are you? Market? <laughs> Again? He's smaller, though. He's like half size, isn't he? 
That's weird. Okay, I can't summon anything. Hey, Margaret, do you have new moves? Or... Yep, kind of. Kind of do. He's also not a boss. Weird. It's just like a free roam mini boss. He has some of the same moves. That hurt. Hammer time. Good, good. <laughs> Still so much delay on that. Oh, I'm in a crater. Ow! Get me out of here! So much rage. Alright, stay alive. He's in his aggressive second phase. Now. And I'm not rolling correctly. Nor at the right times. <laughs> Keep going. Panic roll right out of that situation. Alright, he's touch less than half. I'm a touch less than half of my crimson tears remain. No. Too soon. He does seem to be able to string things together a little quicker than he ever did in the original boss battle. He's learning slightly. Really wish I got that second one in. Oh man, I really wish he hadn't gotten that second one in. My best bet is really his hammer technique. That one there that I'm missing even now as I lie on the ground in pain. Come on. He's so low. You have two... two passions... Uh, potions left. <laughs> two passions left. And then we're passionless. Come on, you passionless such and such. Ah, oh, got him. Nice to see you again. He did talk to us, like, a significant amount after the first battle. I remember being a little weary, or worried, rather, that when we beat him back at Stormvale, or before Stormvale, he's like, I will remember you and your part in this. <laughs> did not sound very final. I forget his exact words, but he was like, you shall not be forgiven for this, and it didn't sound like a, for my death, it sounded like from me specifically, so I, he's still around somewhere, like I don't think we've found his true form, and that certainly didn't seem to be his true form, as it was even smaller than the first one. But now, I see a side of grace, and I see the plateau beyond where we should find that artist's shack. Make sure there's nothing else in the battlefield proper to pick up. Just troll corpses. Nope, don't want to have anything to do with that. Thank you. That's very interesting that a normal NPC, it was like a Gostock looking Stormvale guy, turned into him as well. Is that a mode of transport or is it a disguise? Can he like beam himself to another living creature? I don't know. I'm just speculating wildly. Okay. Seems a little quiet. A little too easy to get those. So how would I get up onto that side? Looks like the pathway here. Alright. There 
is an item. Thank you, Mushroom. Oh, <laughs> I keep thinking that's the run button. It just gets me off the horse. This is the run button. I'm playing another game that messes up my mind controls. Excuses, excuses. A little bit of lore back here. The second defense of Langdell. The fell omen stacks high the corpses of heroes, yet the Erd tree remains unshaken. So yeah, Margit, the fell omen, has definitely been active here as well. He seems to be able to be in multiple places. Somehow. We're headed back this way for right now. Just see if that shack has a sight of grace. My favorite thing ever. Grace Mimic. Alright, almost there. Hey! It's me! Nice curved swords. Can I have one of those? I forgot about the living again bit. The part about them living again after the death. Oh. Wish I hadn't. I don't have a shield equipped. You're being very rude. Alright, welcome to the shack. What kind is it? Isolated merchant? I see colorful hats. Hey shooting at me while I'm invincible. Alright, I don't want to get the hermit shot. Please stop shooting at me now. Is someone there? What do you got? A customer? Well, how long has it been? That's a good question. Was he leaving footprints? I don't know. It may have just been a force illusion. <laughs> So, Prophet Robe. This looks like Brother Corin's set. Perhaps what you start with if you're a monk or pyromancer, whatever that class was. Prophet, probably. Upper class robe. This is like what Rhea of the Volcano Manor was wearing, isn't it? Embroidered bright green robe worn by noble children. Donning such a robe is traditionally the child's first show of burgeoning independence. Oh. Well, don me right proper, then. Consort's trousers. Fine white trousers. Perfectly suited for wearing beneath a silk robe. Ooh! Sounds delightful. Below the capital. Okay. Prophet blindfold. I should have enough to go ahead and grab all the clothes. So we'll have fashion options. Distinguished great shield. 5,000. It's a little... Hmm. It's a little. A 7,000 rune torch. Given to protectors of the Erd Tree, its flames are bestowed with a special incantation which allows the user to see assassins cloaked in veils. That sounds very important. As, as though they're telling me right now, you're about to fight some invisible guys, and... Well, this torch would make that a lot easier. All right, everything else is arrows of various kinds. I probably want to grab a couple of those at some point. Go ahead and pick up the shield, since it's a one and done. Mm, sure. Yeah. I'll take your sunflowers. One bloody finger. Or I guess he has an unlimited amount, so sure. One bloody finger. And then we'll come back for the other stuff. Don't really need money, though, so let's just get rid of that. All right, what does my note say, then? Below the capital, right? Uh, below the royal capital of Langdell is a vast network of sewers. The well in the city below reaches deep into its tunnels. The well in the city below, is that like 
Nakron? <laughs> a city below? Or do they just mean Laindel? And the well below Laindel reaches deep into its tunnels. I guess we'll find out. Thank you for the hint. Thank you for looking gorgeous. Mm. Loki colors. I like it. What an ass. All right. I always like meeting new and isolated merchants. Hermit merchants, even. So this road gives us a good spot and a great um, side of grace down below to get into the windmilly section up here to the north. I should probably save that for another session, as we're now just over two hours. It's probably a good time to call it. But we have to get into the misty woods here. There's ruins, there's a... Uh, Erd tree and probably an Erd tree protector. There is a mage tower down here. There is more ruins up here. A ruined bridge of some sort. And that's all before we get into the windmill village, seemingly. Some windmills and a windmill village. We have so much to explore still in Altus, and that isn't even going this way, where there is probably another Erd tree protector. Some more stuff to find there, and then maybe the actual route into the city. I'm not sure if we can get in, like, from this bridge, perhaps. But it's looking better than our other options. So, we might be close to breaching the actual city. Once done, we should be getting into this Fog of War area, I assume. So I'm really looking forward to that. I wonder if there's another site of grace, like, at this crossroad <laughs> would be a great spot for it. Just to remind us to go that away next time. Let me also finish checking up here on the plateau just for another three minutes, and then I'll leave, I promise. We're going down that road again. <laughs> Where I promise to leave, and then I spend another three hours playing. And I'm I'm happy about it. I'm not complaining at all. That is a big skull. What kind of big, big old skull boys are you making out here? Do you have permits for that? So big, and your snails. You're actively snails inside the big skulls. Wow. Horrible. Give whoever thought of it a raise. Absolutely dreadful stuff. So there's the Erd tree, the minor Erd tree. It does have seemingly an avatar protector, or maybe a big perfumer. I'm not sure from here. Assuming it's an avatar. I'm still being attacked, and therefore cannot look at my map. Good. Alright, back to the road and down. A little lucky angle there. Alright, items, items, items. Not seeing anything. We did check that lore thing. I think that's the first one we stopped at. Let's head down. Crossroads should be marked here. That way would take us to the minor herd tree. We've got archers. Alright, multiple archers who are upset with me. That's fair. This way goes down towards the wall of the inner city, underneath the bridge that I think will give us access to the city proper. Let's just make sure there isn't a sight of grace hidden away down here. Oh, somebody died. But good luck. All right, there is a bear, there is a item locked in a statue, seemingly. And this looks like one of those heroes' tombs down here. Yeah. I 
think that would be a hero's grave, like the one we originated our journey from. Let's check if it has a side of grace. It has an elevator going down. Well, that's not quite the same. Maybe along this back cliff wall here, there's something like a catacomb. I just want to have a foothold out here that we can fast travel back to. That's a big bear. Oh, what a pain in my aspen. Yay. There's a thing. Thank you, Infinity Frames. Infinity. Invulnerability. <laughs> Yikes. So what did that say? Azuria side tomb? Auriza side tomb. Alright, what do we have here? Out of potions, let's go ahead. I shouldn't. I shouldn't start. I just said I would find a side of grace. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will leave. We're over two hours. I'm not going to continue. Uh, but we could just... We could we could just... Mm. Instant boss door. Where is the lever? Oh, it's Pots. Hey, Pots. Wiki, 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 wiki. I don't have any proof that they squeak when they walk, but it would be cute. Sure would be cute. I'm a friend, and I like you, so let's just let this be. All right, I could jump out the window if needed. Mm -hmm. Might be needed. Nothing back here. No, no. Check down this way. We have a chest. Does it have something in it? Yes. A transporter trap, which has taken me gently by the nostrils and ensnared me. Ah, did it just put me, yeah, nearby, it seems. Okay, so does that go right back to where I came from? Would they make it that clean and simple? That must be the lever there. That also might be the window I was thinking of jumping out. It looked like there was that statue down below it as well. So it might be lining up. We've got gargoyles. Oh, my favorite. My favorite of enemies. Oh, good. I should have a shield out. I should just... I should take my my damage per second losses. Ooh, I got a cat impaired out of that one. A Grave Glove Ward 6. I think I'm still looking for 7 for my Mimic. We're getting closer. So how would I get up to that level to get the lever? The lever level. I don't trust that. How's you? How goes? All right, I'll just... Oh, now you want to skitter around back there, sure. Sure, now you want to skitter around. Is this going to teleport me again? Hmm. Now I don't trust anything. I had trouble before. Very shy. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. 
It's all coming together now. Explosive pot bros! Very explosive pot bros. Alright, so we have the one at the end, like in the main cathedral, whatever we want to call it out there, we have this one. I'm assuming they both teleport me. Let's see where this one teleports me. Before the other. I promise I'm going to stop playing. I, ju I just have to solve this lengthiest of puzzles. <laughs> the most lengthy of all. Aha, I'm up on that upper level now, I think. So I came out there before, looked up here, then went this way to the cathedral, which is there. Good, good. There is another teleporter test, or chest. That's what I came back for. Let's check here. One more passage. But it does not go to the statue. I swear this is where it should be. This is where the lever should be. Because that's the window. We just went down those stairs. So it must be teleporting me... <laughs> is it teleporting me to, like, a, a mirror image? Or a copy of the dungeon? Because I swear there wasn't a guy up here when we passed by the first time, but then there was... I'm gonna see if we're switching between, like, two dimensions of this same place here. Let's try this. Oh, just so you know, you promised to watch a friend, or... <laughs> you promised to watch a movie with a friend tonight, and I'm delaying it horribly. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be. So now I should be back in the cathedral, but which cathedral? I don't think the chests stay open, so that doesn't tell me anything. There isn't a guy up there. Let's check where this takes us. Ensnared! You guys are incredibly dedicated to my streams, and I'm so grateful and flattered and dumbstruck about the whole endeavor. Mm, that would be a real good time to take a sip of potion. Then kill him. There you go. Alright, hold still, my friend. Ouch. There. Okay, so now we're behind the grate. We came out there. There's the spot where there was an upper-level gargoyle with the stairs leading to that little balcony. So I guess if, if my assumption is correct, there are two of these rooms? There would be two metal grates with two rooms beyond, and I now need to get to the second one? How would I get to the second one? Go back to the other reality. I'm not seeing any secrets there. What chests have I not used? It's hard to remember. I, I know what chests I've used, but what chests have I used in which reality? Because in one of the realities, that guy is already dead. I kind of want to leave him alive just to differentiate between the two, though that may be foolish. We did go through that one, it got us up there, but I don't necessarily want to be up there in the other world, I need to be up there in this one. That hurt. Ah, yeah, because you're alive too, obviously, sure. Okay. So I think I need to get into that graded section. Because that will lead to this 
statue with the lever instead of the nothing that we made it to first time. Which chest do I need to use for that? I guess it's a question of if I've gone through that one. Mm, I think this is the only one I can use that progresses me. Let's take another peek. This is a super interesting dungeon. I don't quite have it in my head right yet, but if they're doing what I think they're doing, it's incredibly clever. So I can jump down from here. That's what I'm missing. Last time I went back through the teleporter chest, I kind of need to jump down and clear this in this reality. It sort of separates them between top and bottom, I guess. And it would not be the first time that I've been celebrating separated <laughs> between my top and bottom not celebrated no not that so I think I need to jump down here and now both of these chests will be different and these guys will be alive sure I assume that means this guy back here as well huh maybe that was the guy back there so the question then is, do I need to go into this chest, or do I need to go into the secret chest here? And I'm not sure. Let's try this one. We can always come back and try the other. Alright, now these guys are alive, so we should be on the right upper level. The right upper level has living gargoyles. That should get us around to the statue. Though it's different. Okay. It's very different. This is taking me very high. Compared to the other one, which was just a staircase and then a straight shot. So where will I end up now? Carry me forth, mystic dust. This is all the way back to, like, the beginning, right? It's back to the window. Huh. Okay. So there's certainly a reason I need to be here. That ladder was a unique feature that it seems to intend I go this way. Maybe now we jump out the window? And there's a guy alive here. As long as there's people I haven't killed, I must be making some sort of progress. I don't know why they take me so far up there, though, just to spit me out back down here. It seems a little counterintuitive. So I don't remember which one in either reality takes me to the gated door. Is it perhaps this main cathedral one? I need to make it to that grated door on both sides. Yes, here it is, and there's a ladder. This is the one we need. You're one of those, yep. I could see it in your wax seal that you have an explosive temperature. A temper, whatever it is. Alright, so I can't quite explain where we are or what's happened to us, but I think we finally made it to the right spot. This should get us up to the middle level, which has the statue and lever if my brain has pieced itself together. Hooray! Six? Still haven't quite got what we need. But that should fix that up, and then we should be able to go to this one, I think to get out. I 
And there's so many footsteps back there. So I think this should take us back to the main area. We go back past the pots up the stairs. Should be done. The question, I guess, is, is there an alternate boss fog? Are there two dimensions of boss? Or does it finally clear itself by the time we get to this point? I want to go up here, not out the window. And hooray! So we've got f six flasks left. Flasks six, for some reason I wanted to say. We should be able to use our mimic in here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, ah, ooh. Oh, Iron Fist Alexander protect us. Here we go. Grave Warden Duelist. Flip off your cape, you sexy such and such. All right, hey. Ah, oh, ee. I'm gonna need more, more swords for this. It's become quite clear to me. Shouldn't have done it. Mmm. I don't know why my mimic is exclusively focused on the small baby pots that really aren't that big of a danger to any of us. Shouldn't have gone for that second swing. Eee. Don't get angry. Not the one to try jumping over. Hey, Mimic. Welcome back. Now he's in trouble. Oh, now he's in some significant trouble. Thanks, Mimic. I appreciate you. So <laughs> this is great. The sold jars of fortune. Ashes. <laughs> so I can have a whole army of little pot bros. I love it. So there, there is a question outstanding. Is there another dimension of boss... Uh, substance? Mm. Boss fog here somewhere. I don't really know. Oh, that would be amazing if it wasn't the Grave Warden, but the Grey Warden duelist. The Dragon Age crossover. That would be so awesome. I summon the power of Tevinta. The power of backbiting politics fuels me. <laughs> Ow, my back. Is that the Divine Tower out there? I guess it must be a new divine tower. I cannot... cannot see the map in that direction. That must be the sort of icy mountain we have yet to reach out in the gray. Super excited about that. And the tree is just down here from us now. It will be very, very interesting to have this open. I don't know if there's like an island or anything strange in the middle. So, thank you for hanging on. An extra 24 minutes with me there. It was... It was time to go 24 minutes ago. But what a great time we've had. I will have to look this one up. The Aurizia, was it? Oriza. Side Tomb. I'll see if there's another boss associated. If not, hooray. We should have completed it. We'll see if we can fast travel away from that bear. Oh, goodness. We have a hero's grave open to us. We have, if we wind our way back around through the trees here, we should make it back up to the bridge. We'll see who's guarding that next time. I never did see a sight of grace at the crossroads, but we found one down here, so at least we can shortcut it a bit. I'm sure there's another sight of grace around there somewhere. Maybe I just need to beat the Erd tree guy or something. Otherwise, I think we have made some great progress into the Altus Plateau and into Lanedell a little bit. Let's be honest, we beat Margit all over again, that's no small feat. I cannot wait to return and continue to bash around the bad guys with you all. Hopefully I might have time even later today, 
If not, I should be back around tomorrow morning, as soon as I rouse myself from my silly stupor. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for hanging out with me and coming up with all manner of silliness. It is a true pleasure, and I hope that everyone's weekend, whether you're working or lazing around at home like I am, goes wonderfully well. You guys are my favorite, and I will see you again soon. Until then, and from the glorious Erd Tree with my moistened robes, I bow at you respectfully. Smooches. <laughs>